Every single person possesses the power to create. And I'm not talking about just art or inventions, but I'm talking about creating every single circumstance, environment, thought, action, and behavior in our lives. What makes human beings different from animals? In other words, if you're a pet owner, what makes you different from your pet? Now this might sound like an obvious answer. You might be thinking, I'm a human being and my pet's an animal. Well, then what makes you as a human being different from an animal? And I'm not saying this to offend you, just on a basic level, what makes human beings different from animals? Think about that question and let me know in the comments below what you think makes human beings different from animals. If you look from a physical standpoint, physical meaning through the five senses, animals are actually more developed than human beings. For example, the eyes of a hawk are sharper than a human being's eyes. The nose of a dog is more sharp than a human being's nose. The hearing of a bat is sharper than a human being's. And the touch of a snake that senses its surroundings through its tactile senses is sharper than a human being's. And the taste senses of a bee are much sharper than a human being's. So from that perspective, although we can argue we're the highest intelligence out there, from a strictly physical perspective, animals are more developed than human beings. Then, if human beings really are the top of the food chain and are the most superior form of animal species, what is it that makes us the top of the food chain? If it's not physical, it's something inside. And what could that be? The answer lies in your brain. Yes, human beings have higher intelligence than animals, but actually, I'm sure you know some human beings who are not as smart as some animals. And I'm sure you know human beings who actually act even more cruel than animals too. There are some humans who act worse than our pet dog. Wouldn't you agree? The thing that makes human beings fundamentally and concretely different from animals is that we have divinity inside of our brains. What I mean by divinity is we have the creator, that energy from the universe that exists within our brains as a small dormant seed. That small dormant seed, some people in spiritual practice refer to that point as your third eye, your seed of intuition, or your pineal gland, that small pine cone shaped gland inside of your brain that regulates divine spiritual connection. So yes, I know there are certain animals that have spiritual characteristics like horses, cats, dogs, dolphins, higher intelligence animals, but on a fundamental level, humans have this divinity that resides inside of their brain that they can use to create change in themselves, change in other people, and what we say, develop human character, develop this inner sense of being, this inner soul that resides inside of each and every single person. So people who have accomplished great things throughout history, like Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, Steve Jobs, people who have invented things that have changed humanity and society. These are some prime examples of people who have tapped into this divinity that resides inside of their brain, this fountain of infinite creative power, infinite influence, and infinite artistic abilities. These people are no different from the average person. In fact, most of these people's history and their life stories will tell you they actually were really terrible students and people told them that they would amount to nothing. And what differentiates people who are able to live at their optimal place rather than just living at a steady status quo is this clear difference whether you are tapping into that divine seed inside of your brain. Every single person possesses the power to create. 
And I'm not talking about just art or inventions, but I'm talking about creating every single circumstance, environment, thought, action, and behavior in our lives. But not many people, in fact, a majority of the people, don't realize this kind of power that they possess inside. And when you don't realize what you have, even if you have a pot of gold that you're sitting on, if you don't know that what you're sitting on is gold, you can never use the gold. Same thing with the divinity that each and every single person has inside of our brains, that seat of infinite creation and power. If we don't know that we have this and don't believe that we have this, even if someone tells you you have it, we can never access that place. So how can we awaken this divine seed inside of our brains? It starts with asking very important life questions that break your mind outside of the box. There are so many things in society, what we see in the media, what we are told by the news, what we're told by our parents, what we're told by our teachers, things that contain our minds within the system. And that's why many people, we just live very comfortably within the confines that the politics and religions and economic systems have created for us. And we don't know what's out there beyond these systems. But very key existential questions that ask us about our human state of being, these questions are the things that break your mind from the system to awaken the divinity inside. And those questions are these. Who am I on a fundamental level beyond my name, beyond my education, beyond my label as a father, a mother, a sister, a brother, a YouTuber, a Instagram model, beyond these labels, who am I as a human being? And two, what do I want? On a fundamental human level, what do I want to do with this life that I was given? These kinds of fundamental questions are what awaken that seed of divinity inside. Because once you start asking those questions about your life, then you build a curiosity that forces your brain to explore beyond your boundaries that you know. If you're forced to think about yourself, who am I, beyond your name, beyond your labels, beyond your academic background, beyond your race, beyond your ideology, then you have to think about your identity beyond the boxes that society places for you. Stretching your mind beyond those boundaries is the start of awakening that divinity inside. So I wanna show you through a visual demonstration the difference between a person who is just living comfortably in the status quo within the box of the system versus someone who has awakened the divinity of their brain, such as Albert Einstein, the Wright brothers, Thomas Edison, these great people who have accomplished great things to benefit so many people and humanity at large. This is a normal brain. This is a brain that asks the question, who am I? This is the brain that asks the question, what do I want? And this is the brain that asks the question and finds the answers to, what is my life purpose? As you ask and find the answers to these existential questions, the brain expands its capacity to make you live your fullest potential. Who am I? What do I want? What is my life purpose? So to have a brain where the seed of divinity is open and starting to sprout, you must ask yourself these important existential questions about who you are as a human being. Who am I? What do I want? Where is my life going? Think about those answers and let me know in the comments below what you come up with. When you start asking those questions and finding the answers to those questions, create your identity based on these results. 
not the results that school taught you, not the results that your parents or some kind of religious system, uh, national system, political system taught you. Find your identity based on the answers to these questions of you on a human fundamental level. And I promise you that will change your values, change your priorities, and change your perspective on life and how you should live your life from this moment onward. I invite you on that journey. You might be pleasantly surprised at what you find about yourself as you continue to ask yourself these questions. If you have any thoughts about this or what you think about the idea of divinity in your brain, I would love to hear all of your responses. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks everyone. The divinity in me recognizes the divinity in you.